At Lillishall Hall, once the home of the Duke of Sutherland, important eyes are on the next Olympic Games. It's now run by the Central Council of Physical Recreation, and some athletes of promise went there for a short coaching course to see if they were up to Olympic standards. J.W. Lloyd Orford, a 3A's national coach, put them through the theory of long jumping. Nowadays, without a thorough grasp of the know-how, even the best natural athletes would get nowhere against fierce international competition. Britain's been slow to realise that scientific coaching is a must before we send teams to the Olympic Games in Rome next year. Instruction is supervised by Chief National Coach Jeff Dyson. Bobby Brightwell demonstrated the sprint start. He was a 220 yards Empire Games semi-finalist. A good start, half the battle to a sprinter. One way to build up essential strength is by the dynamometer, which registers how much effort is put into it. Agony, isn't it? The party included girls. A long way to go to the Thelma Hopkins standard. Would-be champions have to be dedicated to athletics, judging by the limbering up exercises for hurdlers. The track itself must have been a relief. Experts at Lillishaw may be laying the foundations of a big success at the Olympic Games.